The bleak job numbers are adding to the heightened sense of urgency surrounding debt limit talks in Washington. President Obama is expected to meet again with congressional leaders tomorrow night at the White House. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson is there at the White House with more this morning. Whit, good morning to you. Russ, good morning to you. In that meeting tomorrow, President Obama wants everyone to come armed with their bottom lines. Democrats and Republicans are still far apart, and any deal on the debt limit is sure to inflict pain on both parties. And the American people sent us here to do the right thing, not for party, but for country. So we're going to work together to get things done on their behalf. But in order to get things done, a final deal must pass Congress, where political rhetoric has widened the divide. The president's quest to reduce deficits by up to $4 trillion will require courting members of his own party. We are not going to reduce the deficit uh, or subsidize tax cuts for the rich on the backs of America's seniors and working families. Friday, the president held a private meeting with House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. Democrats are growing increasingly uneasy over statements from President Obama that changes to entitlement programs like Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid are on the table. Republicans welcome the discussion, but so far aren't budging on White House demands to increase taxes on the wealthy. Tax hikes on families and uh, job creators would only make things worse. The entrenched positions mean both parties stand to lose political points should there be a compromise, but without one, Americans would lose the most. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves over the next several weeks and next several months. I know that people in both parties are ready to do that as well. White House and congressional staffers will work furiously through the weekend leading up to that Sunday meeting. Um, all sides are eager for progress, but few are expecting a deal by then. Russ. With Johnson at the White House. Thanks a lot. For some perspective on how any budget compromise will be received by the full Congress, let's turn now to David Vitter, Republican senator from Louisiana. He's in New Orleans. Senator, good morning to you. Good morning, Russ. Good uh, to be with you. Well, we thank you for joining us today. Are you encouraged at all that President Obama says that certain entitlement programs like Social Security and Medicare are on the table? Sure, that's encouraging. And I was in a meeting with the speaker Thursday where he gave an update about the discussions. And they did seem to be certainly more positive than a week or 10 days before that. But I think the, the sides are quite far apart still. But at least it was a, a positive discussion. I think they're getting together again Sunday as that's positive. That's right. Sunday at 6 o'clock. Let me ask you, Senator, in that spirit of compromises we just heard from Witt, Democrats also want to raise taxes on the wealthy, something that we also just heard from Senator Boehner. Republicans are vehemently against. Do you see any movement at all on your side on this issue? Well, I think there's a possibility about revenue, revenue through growth, revenue through tax reform and tax simplification, which could produce real growth. And of course, when you grow the economy, which we desperately need, we just heard about these horrible unemployment figures, you also produce more revenue. So I think that is the, the key area where we should focus. It is July 8th. The deal has to be cut, some say by July 22nd, August 2nd is the deadline. How optimistic are you that a deal can be in fact reached by that time? Uh, I, I think it's sort of a 50-50 proposition. I do hope everybody goes into the meeting and the discussion Sunday with, uh, with no you know, absolutes or preconceived notions, but we need the right policy to produce growth, a better economy, and deficit reduction. A lot of conservatives like me are very much against significant tax hikes because it's going to do the opposite. And obviously, we want unemployment to go down, not up even further. Is that your biggest concern, the tax hikes? Uh, it is my biggest concern because I think it would stifle any recovery. It would increase unemployment yet more, which is horrible in and of itself, but also would kill the prospects of deficit reduction. We need growth and prosperity for deficit reduction as well as cuts in spending. Let's talk about the way Americans are thinking right now. Politicians are not uh, very high on the list of many Americans these days. I mean, if a deal is not cut, don't both sides stand to lose a whole lot politically? Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, and certainly nobody wants to go past a true deadline about uh, the debt limit. You know, I don't think August 2nd is absolutely set in stone. The world doesn't end the next day. But certainly sometime soon after that, serious consequences would follow. What advice would you have for your colleagues going to that meeting tomorrow night? To be imaginative, to lay out the case strongly about why we need growth. And growth can produce more revenue, new revenue, 
that's an important part of the solution, but that's a whole lot different than just hiking up taxes on folks. Senator David Vitter joining us from New Orleans today. We thank you Thanks. so much.